Okay, future cam. So, I always do that. I always start with so. Hey, future cam. I'm not going to start with so. Hey, future cam. So, today I want to... Hey, future cam. Today I want to talk about knowing what you want. Because the last couple of days uh, we've been filming and it has been hectic. We've had to get up at five o'clock in the morning, both mornings on like four hours sleep and downing massive amounts of coffee. And then going to be creative was difficult. Then going to work straight after on both days. And then the second day going back to filming. And I think last night was the first time in a long time I'd gotten home while the sun was still up. It got me thinking this morning about knowing what you want. And I don't. Not with this project. I, I have become too close to this project and I've forgotten why I started it. I've built it up in my head because I've become so invested in it. And and yesterday was a perfect example. All of the things that we've shot have required public spaces and things that aren't in my control. Train times, uh, having to get and work on time, other people's schedules, uh, getting told off by train people to stop filming in certain areas, car spots, traffic, just so many things that weren't in my control. I couldn't make it work, I couldn't come up with an idea, I couldn't think how to make it work the way I wanted, and I, I, and I couldn't change what I wanted. I was ready to cock it. <laughs> I nearly wanted to throw my tripod onto the ground and just go, fuck it, I'm not doing this anymore. And I didn't, I stopped myself from doing it because I didn't want to let everybody else down. I'm so glad I didn't as well. I would have been let down by myself. We just had to call it um, and reschedule it for this afternoon, which is either going to be a very good thing or a very bad thing. And at the moment, I'm thinking it's going to be a very good thing. I've taken a step back from the project and realized that it's cool. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I don't have any formal training. I haven't even. I don't even have that much informal training or learning or ability or experience. That's the word. But so whatever we do, you know, we can't expect a heap from it. In the last couple of days, I've forgotten that. I haven't had as much fun. I've just been stressing about how it's going to turn out and whether every scene is perfect. It's like, well, whatever we've got is going to work because we're going to make it work because we're going to have fun and we're just going to do it. I think that's something I've lost in the last month or so when I first did that first vlog. I knew what I wanted. I just wanted to practice and I just wanted to have fun. I didn't even want views. I didn't like I wanted the approval of my friends. You know, they were happy that I was doing something that I was enjoying. I guess is probably more what I was after. I started thinking about whether we're going to win the competition, whether all of the judges are going to like what we're doing, whether everyone involved is going to like the final project, whether I'm going to like the final project. But it's not what I want. I want to have fun and I want to learn. I'm guaranteed I'll forget everything that I've just said and probably stress out again over the next couple of days because we still haven't finished filming. But Oh, this time I'll have this video to remind me. I can actually cut this down and make something out of it. I've been ranting on, rambling on for 15 minutes. The sky's so blue. I can't see a single cloud. It is just a perfect shade of blue. It's fantastic.